<laughs> Kelly! <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm never getting this video done. Hello, hello, it's Marissa from Marissa Mom. If you are new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. You may have noticed something's different about me. My hair is brown. I finally decided to dye it back dark. Just because in Ontario, we've been like in and out of lockdowns and having blonde hair during a pandemic is very tough to maintain. And honestly, I just wanted to get my hair healthy again because it's so damaged from having it blonde. And I did so good for the last three years getting healthy. So we're back to brown. For today's video, I'm on the floor, as you can see. I wanted to give a quick kitten update. If you saw one of my earlier videos, like probably like a month ago, we added to our family and we got a kitten. And I promised I would do some kitten updates. We learned that our dog has a very high prey instinct. So we kind of, I guess, already knew that. Like he barks at squirrels, chases squirrels. He's killed mice, he's killed birds before. So it's not a surprise that he likes to chase smaller animals. But with the cat, um, that was a whole different challenge for him, but now they get along, they do fight a little bit, she's feisty, uh, <laughs> he just like pushes her over with his nose, he knows to be gentle with her, he knows not to bite her now, because he's always trying to like nip at her, but she literally like jumps at his face, so <laughs> she's not scared of him at all, she's actually on my lap right now, she's been awake for the past like four hours, they've just been like running around together. So I know she's tired, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how she's doing. She's about 12 weeks now. We got her when she was eight weeks. Here she is. She's much bigger than she was when we got her. Look at the camera, Caddy. <laughs> For anyone that's wondering, so I get asked all the time what kind of cat she is. She's a Bengal cat. Basically is a mixture between domestic cat and an Asian leopard cat. She's kind of like more wild than an average house cat. Um, I always refer to her more as like a dog cat because she's actually like extremely playful. She loves running around. Um, she kind of like hunts us. I'm gonna can you get out. She fits in really well with our family. Our son like runs around with her. She chases him. She loves to be around people. So in case you're wondering what she's been doing this whole time, there, she's been attacking this cord. Kelly. Can you leave it please? Thanks. All right, now to get to the main part of this video. I wanted to show you guys how we're gonna store her litter box because for one, we have a dog. He likes to eat her poop. I just wanna do a quick little DIY for an easy cover to store your litter box. I was gonna buy like a cat litter box enclosure, but they can range from like 100 to $200. So instead, there's something that's been going around on TikTok and Facebook. I saw it on Facebook. But basically, you can just go to Walmart and buy the like plastic drawers. You can cut out pieces and just make a litter box enclosure like that. So enough talking. I'm going to get to it and we'll see how this turns out.
So this quick DIY project ended up being a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Just basically cutting through the plastic. But it's finished and it's done. Now she has a cute little area to go to the bathroom. Eventually I do want to get like obviously better decorations for on top of it. For now it'll work how it is. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet a subscriber and you want to keep up with the family behind the player, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.